Welcome back everybody, my name is Philip and welcome back to another very quick Photoshop editing tutorial. This time my travels brought me to the so-called Haithawanger Sea or the Haithawanger Lake. Very beautiful place, I arrived there just before sunset and it was freezing cold. However, when I looked at the actual image that came out of the camera, I wasn't too happy because it did not look cold. So today we're going to use Photoshop to quickly turn a normal image, you know, that looks like taken with whatever, into what I would call a sweet piece of art. We're going to only use a couple of very easy techniques to add a nice bluish color tone to the image and make it feel really, really cold and cool. So let's jump right in and get going. Okay, and here we are in Photoshop. Now there are several ways of adding a blue color field to the image and make it feel a little bit colder. In this image I used a simple hue saturation layer adjustment. So let's go ahead and add that to the image by simply clicking on the hue saturation layer symbol or go down here and click on the half circle thingy and add hue saturation, whatever you prefer. Now if you just change the hue here you're gonna you know, change everything in a kind of weird way so we're not gonna do that. What I want to do is I want to colorize the image and now find a hue that I like. I can also increase the saturation a bit to see the color a little bit better. Something like that looks nice enough. Let's close that down. And we have already added our color. Now of course we are not done by a long shot. I don't like that blue in the really dark area. So what I'll do, I'll just take it out. I'll simply double click on my layer and I'm going to use the blend if function that is right here to essentially say wherever the underlying layer is darker, I do not want this effect. So I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key on my keyboard and just drag the little slider like half at first and then drag the slider towards the left. And as I do that, you can see that the blue is being taken out of the dark areas. I will go with something like that. Once done, hit OK. Next, I want to make sure that the highlights are properly visible, right? So the sun is somewhere behind the, the middle peak mountain there. So let's really make it snap a little bit and pop a little bit by increasing these lights. I could do that with like curves and things, but I'm generally a lazy person, so I don't want to. So I instead we're gonna hit the Command or Control, Option, Shift and E keys on the keyboard to create what is called a stamp visible. In a sense that copies everything that you can see onto a layer. With that, I'm gonna go to top to Filter and down to Camera Raw Filter. Here, let's head to Basic and first let's drag the highlights down. Once done, let's increase the whites. Now you'll see that some of my clouds are going to be washed out, which I don't mind in my image. Of course, if you're working on yours, make sure you're only doing it as much that it feels right to you. Next, we're going to go down and add some clarity. I love especially what it does here to the mountains and the clouds and the water, well, everything really. Maybe something like that. Once we're done, we hit OK. Now at this point you may be thinking, well, that's a lot of blue, it's too blue for my taste and I understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another hue saturation layer and simply bring the saturation down. Now I'm only looking at the top half of my image right now. Let's bring it down to something like, maybe something like that. Make that small and with the layer mask selected, hit the Command or Control and I key to invert that. Hit B on your keyboard like Buddy Star for your brush and now make it nice and large and with an opacity of maybe, I don't know, 40, 30, 40, whatever percent, I'm gonna start to remove the blues where I don't like them as much. So for me, that is the sky as well as the mountains. So I'm gonna start to paint in, uh, well, to remove rather the blues a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Let's have a look at the before and the after and we have taken a lot of heat out of that sky, which is good. Now, next I want to really make that water pop a little bit more, especially in the highlight area, right? So let's create a curve adjustment layer. Bring the blacks in just a little bit, just to create this extra layer of darkness in there and then just drag the middle up. And I'm only looking at the water right now and nothing else. Find something that feels comfortable to you. For me, I'm gonna go with something like, let's say that. Once again, I'm gonna hit Command or Control and I on my keyboard to essentially hide what we just did. And now with the white brush, bring it out again in the foreground because that's where we actually want it. Awesome. And once more, let's have a look at the before and after. So now the water is really popping, which I love. Now for me, there's only one thing left to do that is mandatory and anything else, of course, can be done or not. So let's create another stamp visible by hitting Command or Control, Option, Shift and E on the keyboard. And with that layer selected, head to the top to Filter and then down to the Camera Raw Filter. If you want to, you can go ahead and readjust your highlights and things like that. But for me, I'm actually okay. So I want to go down to Effects. And here we have vignetting. So I'm gonna drag the little slider towards the left and it's gonna give me a nice and dark edge. I'm gonna then feather the whole thing a little bit so that it's a little bit of a smoother transition. And again, find a nice little value that fits you. 
If you want, you can make sure your highlights are protected. We're gonna do that just a little bit, maybe do something like that. And once we are done, hit OK. And boom, if we look at the complete before and the complete after, we have completely changed the color feel of this image. And now it actually feels cold just looking at it. The last step that is completely up to you when working with color is to, you know, adjust it as needed. So in theory, you could grab another hue saturation layer, decrease the saturation either here if you wanted to, or simply go where it says master and head to the seance and decrease the saturation here as needed. Of course, you can then use a brush again, you know, do what you need to do to get to the goal that you want to reach. And there we go. So one last time, let's have a look at the before and the after. Awesome! And there we go. As you can see, some easy techniques to add a blue color feel to the image and make it feel cold, but cool. I hope you did like the video. If you did, it would help to hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to never miss anything that comes out. Other than that, don't forget to get out there and keep shooting and I shall see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.